guys, we've got to go. We've got to run. Mom knows what you did to her dress. Mommy, I need toilet paper. <sighs> Nathan! And Mom found your pants under the bed. <laughs> <laughs> yes! The ones with the fish! Ooh, Go into there, my pet fish. Three days later. Happy birthday! Oh. I told you I wouldn't forget. Oh. Uh -oh. It's the new Daiwa MCAS BR spinning reel! Run. We need to get out of here. We need to get out of town. Let's go! Oh man, you guys are in so much trouble. We have got to get out of town. Yeah, and you remember what happened last time we tried to hide from mommy? No. Were you followed? No. You sure about that? Yeah. Are you sure mother can't find us? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh. So we have got to hide further and better than we've ever hid before. Are you guys ready for that? Yeah. Mom can track the car. We've got to get rid of the car. <laughs> All right, we got rid of the car. Now let's make some tracks. Run. Tommy, will you grab that rope and hold it tight? All right, this is where we're gonna camp for the night. Think mom will find us? No. No, nope, we'll be safe. All right, why don't you start putting the pile to pile with right there, guys? All right, guys, we are doing some stealth camping today. And by stealth camping, I mean no one will ever know we were here. We are gonna leave no trace. This hammock tent is perfect for that. There's no real flat ground and you don't wanna be clearing brush and digging up earth. So the hammock tent is perfect for that. Additionally, if you have anything you wanna keep dry, you have plenty of room to throw it underneath the hammock. Hey guys, you having fun? Yeah. Look how bouncy it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I've got my fishing gear here. We're going to try to reel in some catfish tonight. But also, I'm going to get a roaring fire going. But I mentioned this is going to be leave no trace camping. How are we going to build a roaring fire and leave no trace? I have the hammock fire pit. Let me show you this thing. All right, this is the hammock fire pit. It's basically a galvanized steel wash bin from a hardware store. I drilled some one and a half inch holes along the side for airflow. Then I attached chains to the handles with some carabiners on the end. And this allows you to string a fire pit up, keep it off the ground so it doesn't burn the ground. And it allows you to do some pretty awesome cooking and baking. All right, got the spot between two trees where we've got a little bit of space and we're gonna hang up the fire pit. To hang up the fireplace, I'm using the Fairman's friction hitch. It's kind of like the midshipman's knot. It's an adjustable knot where you can adjust the length of the rope by sliding the knot back and forth. And it's a quick release knot. You just pull the tag end and the whole thing comes undone. If you want to know how to tie this knot along with other great camping knots, check out the link below to my top eight favorite knots. It's a great video. Well, there we go. There's the hammock fireplace. I got it strung up to this tree and to that tree. 
And these extra chains here, you can put there and there, and that'll keep it from swaying if you don't want to worry about that. There we go, we have a nice fire pit that won't leave any trace on the ground, has no burnable material overhead, and it's safe and secure. All right, I've got my blast match and a little bit of jute. Blast match is just a ferrous rod with this bit of steel here, and you go, and it makes a spark when you stab it like that. This fire pit works pretty good, but I should have drilled the holes just a touch higher because every once in a while an ember falls out. And uh, it's not a big deal, except for you just don't want a bunch of dry grass or something underneath the fire pit. I've got a bunch of these flat rocks, so I'm gonna go ahead and put them underneath. You warm? Well, I prepared three different types of kebabs for dinner today. I've got bacon wrapped chicken. I've got chicken mixed with peppers and squash and mushrooms and onions. And I've got pineapple and chicken chunks mixed together. You can prepare these things in advance and they're so easy and quick to cook up. Great campfire food. Check this out. All right, got the shish kebabs in these bags here. We're gonna add some barbecue sauce to the bags. Let that get all coated all over. Oh yeah. Ooh, that's looking good. Ooh. Look how yummy that is. Here, buddy, have some. Eat up. I mean, is that good? Oh, shish kebabs are so good. Such an easy thing to do on a camp out. Uh, oh, that's good. <laughs> you want to roast marshmallows? Okay, you gotta go get yourself a marshmallow stick, okay? Uh, okay. All right, let's 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 sharpen that sucker up. Okay. You want a big marshmallow? Yeah. Look, look at the size of that thing. You don't want to sit your butt on the ground because you'll get, you'll get your butt wet. Here, there you go, sit on that log. That is a big freaking marshmallow right there. There we go. Hey Thomas, I got a marshmallow for you. Oh, I like those burnt ones. You like the, you like the marshmallow? One really cool thing about this hammock fire pit is that you can bake things underneath it. It gets about two to 400 degrees underneath here, depending on how high off the ground you get it. And so I got these rocks here and the, the rocks have been warming up and retaining some heat. So now we're gonna cook some brownies underneath our hammock fire pit. Here, Nathan, taste that. You like that? There you go, lick the spoon. That's all you. Well, I, I think I think you got a little chocolate on your face there. Look at no, look I at this. The gap between the bottom of your fire pit and the top of your pan has to be nice and even, and it has to be the right amount. You just kind of got to figure out by trial and error how high to get it off the pan. But you just use these little knots and just slide them up and down a little bit to kind of level things out and adjust it. All right, let's check out the brownies. Ooh. Let's see if they cooked at all. Oh, they are so gooey. Kind of gooey. Didn't quite hit that right. <laughs> the middle part's done. Yeah, the middle part kind of worked. Kind of more of a lava cake, but yeah, we got we got some brownie here. You want to try it? Yeah, it's good. You like that? 
<laughs> baking under a fire pit is a lot harder than baking in a conventional oven and certain recipes are harder than others uh this is my first time trying brownies and uh yeah it was didn't work very well but i've done cookies and i've done coffee cake and that worked really well so yeah kind of hit and miss that looks like a pile of poop but <laughs> it tastes really good right there okay you like that Warm brownie goo on a cold day. All right, it's time to get the boys ready for bed. And uh, I'm gonna show you my little secret here. I've got these Hot Hands adhesive body warmers. They're large hand warmers with stickers on the back. And they are great for keeping people warm. And this is what I bring with me whenever I take my kids camping. So that if they ever get cold, I just slap a bunch of these on them and they're good to go. You want some hand warmers, buddy? Yes. So there you go, take the little sticker off this. Yay. Here, I'm gonna slap another one on your chest. All right, here you go. You like those? Those work good, Dom? All right, hop on in there, get, get Burrow in. Hey, Nathan, you staying warm? Yeah. All right, buddy, Burrow, burrow in there as deep as you can, okay? We're gonna zip you up. All right, you good, Nathan? Okay, good night, bud. Poor Beck is probably at home worried sick of us, crying herself to sleep. I, I feel bad about that, I really do. fed into bed and I might do a little bit of fishing now it's the middle of winter though so the fish aren't close to shore they're out deep in the middle of the channel so I'm gonna use my little skiff here uh, and do a little long distance shore fishing here uh, while I hang out by the fire okay I got some frozen shad here that's what we're gonna use for bait there we go Alright, I've taken the boat out about 100 yards from shore. I'm gonna drop my baits off the side. Now I'm gonna drive back to shore with my rods. And then I'm gonna wait for a bite on the shore. It's a great way to long distance fish. And that's exactly what we need to do here. Well, I've got both rods in the rod holders and I've got the bait clickers on. So the fish grabs my line. It'll make that nice loud noise. And I'm sitting here over by shore I'm just going to go hang out by the fire and my boys and uh, listen for a bite. Well, it's only about 10 o'clock, but I'm exhausted, so I'm going to go hit the sack. I'm only a few feet away from my fishing rod, so if something grabs the line really runs with it, I'll hear the bait clickers going. And uh, maybe we'll catch a fish in the middle of the night. But uh, I'm going to sleep and get these kids to bed. Ugh. Daddy, I'm the hungry cow fiddle. All right, guys, should we go to bed? Good night. Good night. Good night. See you in the morning. See. Well, it's the middle of the night, and I just heard my line clicker go off pretty aggressively. But it's quiet now. Oh, I don't want to get out of my bag. It's cold out here. Oh, the one on the right. Look. Right there. Well, the rod on the left is hung up and the rod on the right has the fish. And I think the fish went and wrapped itself around the line that's hung up. So I gotta go take the boat out and get it unstuck. Well, I've got 50 pound line on these reels. So I'm just gonna reel the rod that's hung up and that's gonna drag the boat to where the catfish is. And we're gonna deal with it from there. Oh, that didn't take long. Look at that, there you are. Look at this guy, he has literally got both of my rigs. Oh, he was barely hooked. Well, there you go, nice fat channel catfish, and I got both my rigs back, so not too bad. But it's cold out here, so I'm gonna go put him back. It's below freezing. Give you an idea how cold it is out here. That's my wet bait towel. <laughs> well, I definitely could keep fishing if I wanted to, but it is cold and super late, so I'm going to bed, guys. 
I'll see you in the morning. It, it's morning time, but it's cold. Mom's got to be worried about us, so we better we better get going home and face the music. But this has been fun. We've had a we've had a good time. This little fire pit is so light. It's lighter than a cast iron skillet. Well, there we go. We'll put away the fire pit and it would take a forensic scientist to know we were ever there. Hey guys, you awake? Hey Nathan, you have a good night's rest? Yeah, but my head's moving <laughs> It's cold, isn't it? Yeah. Now, do you guys want to get dressed or do you want to ride home in your sleeping bags? Why home in the sleeping bag? Why home in the sleeping bag? <laughs> okay, we'll do that. <laughs> I don't blame you. Getting out of the sleeping bags is the worst part. This Stingray three-man hammock tent is kind of a funky tent, but I really kind of like it. And the boys enjoy it because it's so bouncy and you can set it up in places you can't set up at other tents. If you want to see a full review of this tent, I'll put a link in the description to a video I did reviewing this tent and going camping in it for the first time. Guys, you have fun? Yeah. Did you hear the animal go under the tent last night? Yeah. yeah, middle of the night I was sitting there and I could all of a sudden I could hear something like a skunk or a raccoon come crawling along down the hill and he came right up to the tent and then stopped and I kind of made a little noise and he scurried off. It was kind of it was kind of creepy. One boy. Well, there's our campsite. You'd have to be an Apache scout to know whether or not anyone had ever been here. All right, guys, you ready to go home face yeah. mom? Yeah. You have fun? <laughs> yeah. Oh, boys! Oh, I miss you. Where have you been? Oh, 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 oh I miss, I miss you. you too. Don't worry, we're safe. Oh, I miss I you. I love you. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Go? Is that a new haircut? Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this fun little video. If you wanna see more great camping videos, we've got a ton of them, whole playlists in fact. So check that out, I'll put links in the description. Also, if you wanna see tutorials like knot tying tutorials, how to start fires without matches, campfire cooking tutorials, I've got those as well, I'll put links in the description. Thanks for watching, don't forget to click subscribe and if you wanna see more fishing, check out my other YouTube channel, the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button so you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.